I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Listen, Max, my respiratory system is failing, and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Chloe, 
I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far.
You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now, Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? I wonder if Chloe would hate me for keeping her alive, but I couldn't do it. <sighs> Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time, if there is one. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife.
At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. This plank is good for nest protection, but bad for a nest photo. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Oh, please don't make these little birds die like the others. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. No boys allowed. You are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. One photo. For posterity. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a Get that food in your belly. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? We all need to look out for each other these days. Two cute little squirrels posing for me? If you insist. stole money from the handicap access fund. We're going to hell. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Oh, 
Kate brings it. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> you are so fucking dead. <clears throat> Get off me, bro. <clears throat> <clears throat> Corin, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You! And you! You're all dead! Let's go! Now! Plus, my dad is on his way! You're all fucked! He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting.
Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it, especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not, I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank, without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I, I try not to, and I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. 
Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. Ah, oh, the good old days. Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus some of the vortex. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. to find Nathan and take him down. Moon's outside, but Justin... I'd pay money to see Warren kicking Nathan's ass. I 
There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. If I get I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. I'm never leaving this toilet. This is my last Vortex Club party! Oh no, not again! Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. It's dark and angry. That would be wicked. Uh, did you? I'm Sorry, Max. Trying not Vortex to. Club oh, members only. I Sorry. I'm on the guest list. Nice. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? 
I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Never mind. It was good talking to you, Victoria, as usual. Eat a dick, Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro selfie. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios. Au revoir. Should I have warned Victoria about Nathan? I mean, she might be evil, but... Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Nope, I don't want to go there. Max, please hurry! Rewind so I can kill him over and over. Look, we can't track Nathan if you're not going to be cool. Oh, I hate this place. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Chloe, look. 
help. What the fuck? 